today we're cruising we are just leaving Aylesbury Canal Society. We have been in there getting some work done on our boat. Which will be a separate video here. But for now, we're finally on the move again. So come and join us. Hi. Hi. Thank you. So we're heading down right to the end of the Aylesbury Arm today. So kind of completing it, which we're excited about. So let's go. If you haven't seen quite how tiring it was to get it into this condition then you should go watch it so that you can understand how upset we will be when we inevitably scratch it all the way up in this lot. Oh no! Contact is about to be made. There's already some scuffs! We've not even got through the first log yet! No pressure. No pressure. It's gonna happen at some point. <laughs> Down we go. So far so good. Nice. One of two unscathed. I don't believe you didn't touch the sides at all. I can't promise I will not. <laughs> this is a really tight bit where there's a tree sticking right out and it digs in. I didn't do it! I didn't touch! Oh, oh man! Perfect! And here we are! Here's the basin! It's a travel lodge, university, that's a theatre, facilities I think. Nice! Little pontoon coming in. Steve's out for this. We're in! Yay! Well, we did it. We're moored up. Seems nice. No one seems bothered by the boats, which is always nice because sometimes in areas like this you feel really exposed and visible, but everyone seems smiley and seems pretty good. And there's a waitrose super close by. So that's really good for all the little reduced reduced things. One of the things we miss the most whilst being out on hard standing is just that we couldn't use the stove. So I'm so excited to get some proper warmth into this boat. It wasn't too bad in the dock because there was some heating, but we couldn't even use the Robasto. But even then, even if we could, there is nothing like the cosy warmth of the stove. It's just like no other. I think understandably though, the boat is rather messy now but we are absolutely shattered and i need to get a video out for tomorrow so that you all can watch it <laughs> so we haven't really got time we haven't got the energy that's the tomorrow's problem mm. 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 tomorrow's vlog is exporting and 
and it's pretty late, so we've treated ourselves to a cheeky little dinner. The Waitrose Plant Living Indian Fake Away, and it's got like mock meat, korma, and tikka masala. I'm so ready for it. Oh, looks banging. So we're gonna eat this and go to sleep, and see you at some point. Bye. <laughs> So it's currently Wes's lunch break on just a pretty standard Monday, but this is happening. <laughs> We're fed up with the chicken coop by the cowboy carpenter. We're trying to basically just sort our radiators out because when you go, when you're going into and coming out of winter, it's useful to have the radiators so you don't have to keep stocking up on coal. First thing we can't access where you bleed it, so we've had to drill a hole through the side so we can get a screwdriver through. Second thing, we can't actually turn the radiators up or down because it's literally just built into it. And there's some plugs up there that we want to get to. And for the record, when we had it built, we asked for all of these things to be considered to say, can we still have access to the radiator? Can we still have access to this? He and he said, boat. yes, of course. And he lives on a boat, so he should know better. We're still annoyed about being scammed by that guy. If you haven't seen the video, we'll link it here. But it's still just coming back to haunt us now. So we're just gonna rip the chicken coop off, I think. I don't see any other way around it. So he built this radiator surround with a folding out table. The folding out table isn't perfect, but at least it works. The thing we hate the most is this that looks like a chicken coop. We'll put a picture on now of the inspiration images that we sent him and what it should have looked like, but it turned up with this. So we're just taking it off. Luckily, the build quality is terrible, so it's coming apart an absolute treat. Get it out. Mm. It curses us more! Easy. I'd rather not snap oh. this though, so That's be careful. Cool. strategy to the bits you're cutting. I'm trying to cut like the corner off. Yeah, I see. Get it away! Burn it! I hate Burn that thing. It's got random stabby bits. Does it look yeah. better without it? I mean, it probably doesn't look... I mean, to be fair, I think it does look slightly better. It doesn't look finished without it, but we're gonna get like... You said like rattan, rattan material. Yeah, the plan is to get either the actually radiator cover material that we wanted originally, or yeah. like a rattan material I think would look really nice. So all we were trying to do is just turn the radiators on, because we turned <laughs> them all the way off. Can you do it now? So we've turned the heating on now with the Wabasto, and we're just going to see, because the issue we were having is the radiators just don't get hot. We were trying to fiddle to make them hotter, but at least we've got the chicken coop off. <laughs> so they were a table on your head. I mean, this is what it looks like now. Does it look worse or does it look better? I don't think it looks worse, it just doesn't look finished now, which is fine. But yeah, we're gonna put the rattan material on there, which will be nice. Is it flammable? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't have to be flammable. It's probably gonna be a couple of years at this rate. Nelson's just there. And that is a water point. But we do have to walk all the way around. But it's smooth as paving, not knobbly towpaths, so it's actually not even that bad. Let's go. Smooth. And here we are, the facilities are great here. So nice, like a little hotel. Let's show you around. Hey, 
yo, what up, boat time? Welcome to my Elson Point. So immediately as you come in, you've got the accessible toilet. We've gone with a regulation toilet and a thing and a, a rustic wooden back wall. This is a place where you to come in and hang out. For some reason, <laughs> loads of razors. <laughs> hey. That's enough of that. Let me show you the next thing. Then as you come in, we've got this open foyer area where we like to hang out and loads of room for activities. Over here, best part, the Alston Point. It's so clean. Flush system. Spray tap. Woo! You know, one of the best features is the view. Check this baby out. See the boat. Oh, yeah. Next up, we've got the cleaning cupboard, but only CRT allowed in there. We've got the 244 outlets on the wall. Click, clack. And then in here, this is the best bit. We've got a full blown library. We've got books, DVDs. Weird bag of cassettes in the corner. In all seriousness, this is really cute because boaters leave books and DVDs behind for other boaters to get. It's really awesome. And then we've got our own personal toilet, stainless steel sink. And the baby chaining unit. <laughs> I'll show you how this thing works. In all seriousness, these are actually excellent facilities and some of the best that we've seen on the network. All right, now get out of here. <laughs> I finished work for the day and excitement levels are high. So we've actually been here for about a week now, but we've mainly just been completely zonked after doing the blacking. I've just been at work, but it's been a pretty nice day so far. Yeah, we've really enjoyed it, but I have noticed that nearby is a leisure center with swimming pool. <laughs> we really like just like a casual swim, just bobbing around, playing mermaids, that sort of thing. So we thought, yeah, why not? Let's, let's go swimming. So first we need to get our swimming costumes out. Jeez, right. Hold. Can you hold that? You're overresting mating my strength. No! What? You put the zips at the back. No, I did. <laughs> okay. Quick! I'm in pain. It's not gonna happen. Put it down. You can then. God, I hate this. Beep beep. Three, two, one. Nice. Oh. Right. We found the goggles. <laughs> ow, ow, go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. Let's go swimming. Leisure Centre, we were surprised at how fun this pool was. They had a lazy river and even some flumes. Let's go Had a pretty nice long shower as well. Yeah, we usually like look at the swimming pool so we can go and have a shower. And the bonus is you just get to have a little swim around. So that one was actually really good. And as a bonus as well, but also nice and clean and ready to go to the theatre. <laughs> Hello. 
One of the benefits of this mooring is that there's a theatre right next door. The boats are literally there and there's a theatre, so we're going to go see Boxy Malone. such a nice theatre, it feels very new. And the tickets were like 23 quid each. Yeah, such good seats as well. Amy's done a real solid in finding us yet another really cool thing to see. Yeah. That was good. Did you like it? Yeah, it was good. I didn't realise it was an all children cast. They did really good, it was great. <sighs> back from the theatre now. We absolutely love going to the theatre. It's just like, it's just an entertainment that I don't think is like any other. But yeah, that was really good. Really catchy songs as always. And we're just gonna chill with the pets, I think. And then get some sleep. Night, Poopy. Fat Sam's Grand Slam. Speak easy. It's actually a lovely sunny day today, which I'm really excited for. We're going around Aylesbury shopping, but first, you know what we're doing. Gotta be done. Had a banging spoons breakfast. We're gonna have a little wander around the town now. There's a lot of sculptures of what appear to be children in strange poses around here. If anyone knows what they are, let us know, because they're quite interesting, but I have no idea what they're for. There's no little plaques either. David Bowie. Bowie. Why is he here? He wasn't born here or anything. He started a tour here, I think. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> but apparently they play yeah. David Bowie's music on the hour. And they have a camera somewhere so that you can watch people, I'm assuming, dancing to it. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's up there. Oh, I'm sure I don't mind <laughs> Seems like they've quite often got a little market on in the town, which is cute. And they've got a little go kind thing for the kids, which uh, claims to be the most fun a child can have, which is a very bold claim, but fair enough. Look at all these. It's one of the lesser known advantages of being vegan is that the temptation is removed, because otherwise I think I'd be grabbing this by the fistful. Is there a Maybe dot? Seven pounds. Seven and a half. 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 Seven past its best before, but it's still perfectly edible, it saves it going in the landfill, and it's cheaper, it's a win-win! Are they allowed to sell it though? So don't get them in trouble, if not. No one oh. grass. <laughs> We'd met up with our friend Sean, so we all just had a little mooch around the charity shops. They're going to create their own cocktails and then get to take out drinks and go for a walk anywhere. I'm sure they'll have a lovely day. It's a lovely little town. It's got like a lot of things that are useful, but not necessarily like the kind of like mooch shops. Very nice. Um, no, no, no. Everyone would look at this and be like, what a beautiful swan. Everyone knows if you live on the canal, this is an aggressive swan. He's in attack mode. <laughs> it definitely is. We 
always find the refill shops and I've got some more shampoo. It's all like eco-friendly and stuff for the canals and it's refillable. I love it. Home. Yeah, it's been a good day looking around the town and stuff. It's our last day in Aylesbury today as we are cruising off tomorrow. But it's been a really nice two weeks. No trouble. And we can't believe how quiet it's been at night. It is half eleven at night on a Friday night. It is completely quiet. Apparently you can get a little bit of trouble here in like the school holidays but it's been absolutely fine for us. Dead quiet. So yeah, we've really enjoyed it. For our last night in the basin we trekked all the way back to the Canal Society for a quiz night. It's really difficult. Yeah, There's sorry, a lot of questions I'll, I'll about you, so the Canal Society and we didn't know any answers. It was like, what did Michael do with his boat so last year? Who was our <laughs> We're giving it a good game. It's still fun. Who celebrated her 100th birthday here at Circus Field while sitting on her boat? It was the Ruby. Sodarst Stone. Oh, it's oh, Simph. Ruby Sodarst Stone. Ruby but you got nine points. Well done. Gregory. <laughs> you got eleven points. Woo! Well done. Well, <laughs> we had such a fun night, and it was the perfect way to round off our time on the Aylesbury Island. Drum roll. Cold beans are delish. Perfect. <laughs> In fourth place, we have Gregory Yeah! Gregory has taken our 55 points, which is marvellous. Well done. Yeah! This fourth. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. Huge shout out to our chip pals over on Patreon and Jody for the bags of chips this week. Follow us on all of our socials for even more boat time and we will see you next time.